Hey y'all, I'm Parisian and this is Dream of Parisian Tarot. We're gonna get a few cards for my Leos, okay? Please like this video if it resonates at all. Also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to check out my TikTok. The link is down below in the description box. And if you would like a personal reading, that information is also down below in the description box. So the first card that we have for my Leos is colors slash numbers. It says, what feelings are you struggling to acknowledge? How do you see the world around you? What's not adding up in your life here? So something might not be adding up to you. Could be trying to figure something out at this time here. You may be struggling to see something or see clearly in some type of way, okay? Yeah. That could be um, issues with people around you. You may not be sure if you can trust certain people or not, okay? Also, no, if this is not happening directly to you, it could be happening to your person or somebody around you. So put it where it fits. I could be saying he when really it could be a she. So flip it and reverse it how need be, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we got weather, natural events. So you could have been going through some type of tower moment, some type of struggles, obstacles, challenges in some type of way. Or you have one coming, all right? But it says, what urgent, well, not I mean, what's urgent in your life? What's making you feel overwhelmed and it's out of your control? Are you worried about how you will survive a major change? So you definitely could be going through some type of changes in your life, all right? And you may be trying to figure out what to do next. I'm going to please have a few cards for my wheels. It says, don't make me come and find you where you at, what you doing. So somebody's trying to figure out where you at, what you doing. Okay. And also somebody could be doing some type of spell work on somebody. It says pay someone for spell work. Also somebody's birthday could be coming up as well. All right. Somebody could be turning 30. All right. Or somebody could be turning 22. All right. So it says we are connected it says, when you go to sleep at night, do you dream of me because I dream of you? So there's some type of telepathic communication going on between you and your person, okay? And you also got the card that says, you're so sexy. You turn me on in so many ways. So you're a very sexy person or your person is put away it fits. But it says needs help. So somebody could be going to other people asking for advice or help here. But it says, I don't know what direction I'm going in life. Yeah, somebody's definitely trying to figure out what direction to go. They haven't, they're struggling to figure out what to do next here. Okay. You also got the card that says rock bottom. So somebody could be having financial issues. But it says no car, no job, no love, no place. So one of these things they may not have or could be having issues getting or something like that. But somebody's feeling broken at this time. Please have a few cards for my Leos. All right, so we got the Queen of Cups here. Also, somebody could be a tarot reader or a psychic or somebody that's just good to get advice from. But somebody could be very emotional. They could be wanting help from someone or wanting to ask for help. Somebody's also feeling left out in the cold and neglected here. But somebody's having financial issues. Let's see. Four of Cups. Somebody's afraid to get rejected. But they definitely want to come to their person. Somebody could be dealing with the Scorpio because I am seeing death right here. It could have definitely been an ending between you and your person. But they definitely want some type of second chance. Also, somebody has some type of star energy about themselves as well. And they want to co communicate with you, all right? Or you could want to communicate with them. Y'all put a weird face. But somebody's obsessed. We got the devil here with the ace of swords. Somebody that could be dealing with the Scorpio and the Capricorn or somebody who has Scorpio and Capricorn in their chart. But somebody can't stop watching their person because they definitely want to say something to them in some type of way also somebody could be wearing the color red or attracted to the color red as well but somebody definitely i don't know somebody wants to express some type of truth the truth could be coming out regardless though okay might have won somebody's very passionate about their person some of y'all could be dealing with the aries leo sag and they definitely want some type of sex here the lovers all right but well, this person could have had choices in love with the lovers being here okay but they definitely do love you they definitely have love for you now please have your cards let's go in the cups and all right so somebody could be feeling like a servant and feeling really unappreciated at this time you could be doing a lot for others in some type of way here but there's some type of foe here some type of enemy here right somebody's being fake as fuck falseness so you may be having issues with trying to figure out if you can trust somebody or not all right 
misfortune somebody's going through a lot of misfortune feeling broken down no car no job no love something all right somebody's feeling really sad about some shit they want they want to ask somebody for some money or some help or something but we got joyfulness so you could be going out and having fun with others somebody could be very fortunate having a lot of money some it's like somebody got money and they want to go ask somebody like how you get this money or can i have some of it or show me how to get it in some type of way that's the energy that i'm getting here okay but you may <clears throat> not know if you can trust them or something we got a house somebody could be stuck in a house or somebody could be buying a house something about a house all right somebody's definitely hiding some type of secrets though okay please have a few cards for my lead all right so it says he wants to spoil you so somebody wants to come in and spoil you but they don't have the funds for it you're definitely about to go through a lot of positive changes and growth so whatever you're going through right now is going to be worth it okay also somebody's getting a lot of victories and stuff like that and they're wishing that their victory will be theirs it says somebody's trying to recruit people to hate you with them so somebody's trying to get a gang of people to hate a certain person they could be body shaming you or body shaming someone okay somebody could be trying to play somebody like a whole or play their body parts in some type of way. There's some type of arguments over the same man. Somebody could be fighting over the same man or dating the same man. Cards from the Leos. Death threats, yeah. So there's death threats going on. Somebody's threatening somebody. I saw somebody staying up late at night thinking about their person here. Um, somebody is a type of person that makes you feel safe, the person that you can talk to, the person that you can get answers from. They want to fight over you. Somebody wants to fight over you or fight over your person. You put it where it fits for you. But people are having opinions on your life. Make sure you keep people out of your, your business, all right? It says, who do you love? I want to know the truth. It's definitely a third-party situation going on. It says, the karmic is sick of him watching you. Also, somebody's trying to block your shine. Ain't no blocking my shine. And the dudes love her. So, somebody's very sexy here. Well, the dudes love them. And it says... He is starting to regret ever fucking with them hoes in the first place, all right? So, it looks like he may have been talking to somebody that you knew or getting advice from them about you, right? And he was talking to the wrong people, and he's starting to regret ever fucking with them hoes in the first place. But some of y'all, the people that he cheated on you with, he's regretting that heavily, okay? Y'all make sure y'all flip it and reverse it how need be. All right, as soon as I open up the deck, the energy for my Leos is somebody is a very popular person. They get a lot of attention. They're very sexy as well, okay? So, a lot of people want them. We got cops about to raid a house. So, somebody could be doing stuff they ain't got no business doing or in the wrong place at the wrong time, okay? All right, it says talking real good on your behalf. All right, somebody had wears head wraps. We got finesse. So somebody got finesse here. Out of some money, out of some sex, out of a place to stay, something. But somebody got finesse here. And it says, stop treating me like them karmics you're used to fucking with. So somebody's used to dealing with karmics and stuff like that. And they was treating a divine feminine like a karmic, all right? Which is a big mistake. Please have a few cards for my Leo's bed. All right, somebody fighting over dick out here. So we seen the same man, and they want to fight over you and stuff like that. That's what's going on here. And it says, they do not claim you in public. So somebody, they not claiming in public here, okay? Cards from my Leo sphere. I'm also seeing shame, shame, shame. So, so the truth is coming out. We got praying on your downfall. Somebody is praying on somebody's downfall. We also got bowling here. Somebody could be going bowling. You could be seeing somebody um, at the bowling alley. Somebody could be wanting to ask you out at the bowling alley. And it's, okay, fighting over dick is here again. But somebody's worried about how you spend your money and what you're spending on. Yeah, somebody is heavily focused on somebody's money, focused on their abundance, and a bit jealous of it as well, okay? Um, also know that the people that he was cheating on you with or talking to, they watching you, okay? Okay. 
they are really obsessed with your life and what you're doing all right and a female tried to threaten him so when these females are threatening him and that's a part of the reason why he regret never fucking with them hoes in the first place i mean of course he regret hurting you and stuff like that but he's also regretting like dealing with them because they sitting up there threatening him and stuff like that all right Yeah, somebody's being treated badly here. And it says, I'm not the bad person they try to paint me out to be. Because somebody tried to make you look like a bad person. Okay? And you was being treated badly. Some, some of y'all was dealing with a bit of a playboy or a womanizer. Uh -oh. Somebody's not willing to take accountability for their actions. Or oh, the shit that they did, okay, or said. Somebody could be living in Colorado. You could have family in Colorado. Something about Colorado here. Cars. It says, I'll do anything for you. So somebody will do anything for their person. They want to be with their person. But somebody was being treated badly, so they got a lot to make up for. Somebody could be transgender here. Or you can have friends that's transgender. Put it where it fits. But it says, stop being depressed. Stop feeling like you're not enough. So somebody's feeling like they're not enough, but know that you are more than enough, Leo. Mm -hmm. It says, keep people out of your life until they prove themselves. So there are certain people that you just don't need to be fucking with. They don't need to be in your life okay you also got the card that says what hurts the most is letting go i just want you to know that i love you so so somebody's definitely still in love with that person here they don't want to let them go but they're putting them through a lot somebody is a sweet loving person and somebody's trying to attack that sweet loving person somebody was young and dumb or something we also see the grocery store so somebody could work at the grocery store some of y'all could be seeing somebody at the grocery store something about the grocery store here okay We got using a mutual friend to set you up. Yeah, somebody was talking to somebody's friends and getting a bad advice about them in some type of way. And their friend was trying to fuck them over or keep them apart or some shit like that or talk to their man. But it where it fits for you. Somebody could be a jewelry maker. All right. It says, the tears I cry you will never see. So somebody be crying a lot, but they not finna show it, you know? And it says, loves your body just the way it is. So we did see body shaming earlier. So somebody could be body shaming someone's body in some type of way. It says a group full of hating ass co-workers or it could just be a group full of hating ass people period okay but it says i didn't realize i was toxic so hopefully they're starting to realize that they was toxic so somebody could definitely be changing their ways here or changing the way that they see things or do things because they realize that the shit was toxic it says i don't care about her like i care about you Somebody could be getting certified, getting their qualifications to be something, to do something, okay? What's this, the one? Your messages are bringing social awareness. So somebody has some powerful messages. They are a powerful motivator or speaker or somebody that you just talk to that makes you feel safe and stuff like that, right? Some of y'all could be a spiritual teacher. Some of y'all could be a terrorist, a psychic, a healer, whatever. But somebody is like a very good person with good energy, right? And somebody doesn't know if they can trust certain people, but there's one person that you can trust most definitely, okay? It says there's a new job offer you will accept. Somebody out some of y'all about to get a new job or your person is or get some type of raise or something. But it says a jealous classmate is upset, divine masculine, pick divine feminine. So for some of y'all, your person was dealing with somebody that you went to school with, or somebody's classmate is mad as fuck that that you getting chosen. Alright.
we try to tell people all the time just because you ain't thinking about them or studying them does not mean they ain't thinking about you or studying you it could be 10 20 years you know we got somebody could have a red car or burgundy car and we got cord cutting so somebody could be cutting off connections or cutting off people here somebody could have recently got fired or about to get fired all right I'm trying to keep everybody calm. It's definitely some type of chaos going on here. We got homeboys. Somebody's homeboys is involved in this situation. Divine masculine is thinking you are the best option. So divine masculine know who we want. Somebody auntie is telling all y'all business. So somebody auntie is involved in this situation. This could be your auntie, his auntie, somebody auntie. But they being messy as hell, okay? It says, the karmic sends their minions to talk to you and watch you. So somebody's sending their homegirls or their homeboys, whatever the fuck, but they're sending people to go get information about somebody, okay? And it says, they are watching your pockets and your money flowing in. So they also sending this person to them to go see they abundance, see how they make their money, see what they doing. You know what I'm saying? So somebody's like jealous of somebody's money and abundance and shit. It says the karmic drives by divine feminine's house. So not only is this person sending their minions and shit, but they also riding past their house and shit. Like heavily focused on you. Somebody's psycho, okay? You also got the card that says, I can't wait to see you again. So somebody can't wait to see you. They want to see you badly. And it says they feel like you ruined their life. So somebody wants revenge on you because they feel like you ruined their life. I almost said Scorpio. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Scorpio. I said that earlier because you did have the death card, which is the zodiac of Scorpio. So heavy Scorpio and Capricorn uh, and Cancer Pisces Scorpio because you did have the Queen of Cups. All right. Somebody could be very emotional. It says everything will come together as planned. So things are coming together for someone here. We also got the barber shop here. Somebody could be going to the barber shop. Somebody could own a barber shop. Something could be going down at the barber shop. Okay. Somebody could be wanting to go get their hair cut or did or something like that. All right. It's sold. So somebody could have their own business or something like that. Or somebody could be selling a house or a car or something. Or jewelry. We, we did see jewelry maker earlier. But somebody is selling their shit. Okay. We also got another spiritualist or reader is mad because they feel like your powers are stronger. So you could definitely be a tarot reader or somebody is, right? But there's another spiritualist that's hating off this other tarot reader because they're more powerful and stronger. Your manifestations are coming in fast, all right? And somebody's going through workplace humiliation, okay? If you don't go somewhere for work, it's um, the people that's in the same work field as you, all right, could be hating or some shit like that. Or your person could be going through this, all right? All right, so let's see. Let's see what we got for my Leo spirit. See what we got for my Leos. <clears throat> So the first card we got from my Leos is I left you, but I can't stop thinking about you. So somebody left a person or stopped uh, being friends with somebody or stopped being lovers with somebody, but they keep thinking about them, okay? Uh, you know what? For every Leo reading that I do, I always feel like for some of y'all, y'all got lovers, and for some of y'all, got y'all got friends. So it's like both, but they always like somebody wanting to come back to their friend and their lover. You know what I'm saying? So, but for some of y'all, your lover could have been your best friend. You know what I'm saying? All right. But it says, everything I tell them, I wish I could tell you. Somebody's with another person, but they want to be with a person. Okay? So somebody could definitely be in a relationship with someone, but want to be with someone else. Somebody is heavily career focused on their goals and stuff like that, you know? Somebody's working hard here. 
somebody is a true earth that's what i'm saying some there's someone in your life that you can if you feel like you can't trust no freaking body there is one person that you can trust because they a freaking earth angel it says call to help others spread kindness compassion and make a difference on earth okay It says somebody's numbers going up, views going up, money going up, everything going up. So some of y'all could definitely be a YouTuber, a TikTok, or something like that, right? And everything going up, everything from the work is clean. Somebody could be going broke, though. So, I don't know, this definitely kind of coincides with Scorpio's readings. It's like somebody doing real good, you know, abundant, and there's another person who's going through misfortune, and they stalking and watching that person because they life suck. I'm trying to tell you, that's what's going on here. See, somebody career-focused, doing good, another person going broke. See what I'm saying? I'm attracted to anyone with money, all right? So somebody could be attracted to anyone with money or some shit like that. We got an Aquarius, and Aquarius could be involved in this situation, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius, or you could have Aquarius in your chart, all right? Um, you also got the card that says, feeling the shame for what they did, but doesn't want to admit it. So somebody did some fucked up shit, but does not want to admit what they have done, but they still getting their karma, all right? Especially since it's coming up going broke. All right. It says, when my finances aren't stable, I don't feel good about myself. So, you know, and also when people's finances aren't stable, they start doing fucked up shit and saying fucked up shit because they feel like they like suck at the, at the moment. Yeah, somebody could definitely be buying a new home. All right. You also got the card that says smoke session. Somebody could be having a smoke session and talking to their homeboy or homegirls about some shit. All right. They feeling the shame and they telling other people about this situation or something. It says, you going in and out of my life has caused severe triggers of abandonment. So somebody has abandonment issues and trust issues as well. They be getting triggered by their person because it's they, they hot woman, they cold the next. They talking woman, they not the next, you know. So somebody just heavily confused. Um, it says, they tried to bring you down to build themselves up. Somebody was talking hella shit about you um, to, to make you feel look bad or something so they can look better, you know. Uh, you also got the card that says always going to the club. So somebody's always going to the club here. It says respected for their natural ability. So somebody's definitely a tarot reader or a psychic here, right? And they are respected for their abilities. It's coming up on Earth Angel. All right. You also got the card that says hanging out with different people has them jealous. Right. So somebody's hanging out with other people and they could be getting a bit jealous of that. All right. You also got the card that says set up their own family members. So somebody set up their own people, their own blood. You can't trust a motherfucker like that. All right. You also got the card that says innocent. Somebody is innocent. It says plan failed horribly. Somebody was trying to attack somebody, but that shit, um, it failed horribly. Somebody is denying their pain. Somebody could be biracial, light skin, or mixed. We got a girl cousin. Somebody's girl cousin is involved. Somebody's family. That's fucked up. That's involved with some type of setup that they had going on. Um, it says an older woman is trying to fuck Divine Masculine. This could be somebody he worked with. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I kind of want to get three more cards out. Let me see. Somebody going to be on a magazine cover or article. So somebody's going to level the fuck up. They're going to blow up. You also got the card that says he is learning how to fight for the people he loves. See, now he's trying to um, protect you. And you also got the card that says they have people watching. They do. They have people watching you. Not only does the karmic have people watching him. Remember now, karmics can also be family and friends as well, okay? But in this case, you definitely got a karmic ass cousin. Most definitely. All right? But whoever he was dealing with or dating is also stopping and watching you too. They could have people watching you, but also your person been conversating with his homeboys or homegirls, whatever the fuck, about you. They watching you too. It's like, it's a big mess, y'all. So please like this video if it resonates at all. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all.